different subtraction tricks so for most of us it is easier to add than to subtract but if we want to continue to compute from left to right and to break down the problems into simpler components subtraction can become almost as easy as addition before going to the concept first we should know what is a base so numbers that are made up of only ones and zeros are known as base example 10 100 1000 10000 etc So this base concept is used for subtractions, multiplications, and divisions. So let us see the first model. All from nine and last from ten. That means whatever the numbers were present, all you subtract from nine, and the last number you subtract from ten. So how this concept works? Let us see the examples now. First example is hundred minus fifty four. So what is the rule? All from nine. So nine minus five is four. Last from ten. So ten minus four six. So the answer is forty six. See the next example. Thousand minus seven hundred eighty nine. So these two we subtract from nine, and last from ten we are going to subtract. So nine minus seven two. Nine minus eight one. Ten minus nine. One so two hundred and eleven is the answer. So let us see few more examples in the first method now. See the next example: ten thousand minus two thousand seven hundred seventy-two. We shall follow the rule: all from nine and last from ten. Nine minus two seven. Nine minus seven two. Nine minus seven two. And the last number from ten we have to subtract. So ten minus two eight. So the answer is seven thousand two hundred twenty eight. See the next example: ten thousand minus nine hundred seventeen. So all from nine. Nine here no number is there. So nine minus zero nine. Nine minus nine zero. Nine minus one eight. Last number from ten we have to subtract. So ten minus seven is three. So the answer is nine thousand eighty three. See the last example in this model: one lakh minus ten thousand eight hundred four. So all numbers from nine, last number from ten. So nine minus one, eight. Nine minus zero, nine. Nine minus eight, one. Nine minus zero, nine. Nine. So last number is from ten. So ten minus four is six. So the answer is eighty-nine thousand one hundred ninety-six. Let us see the second method in subtraction tricks. See the second method subtracting from a multiple of a base. So here example what we have taken is six hundred. Six hundred is a multiple of hundred. Four hundred means it is a multiple of hundred. So when we have taken these examples, what is the rule we have to follow is one less than one before first number. One we have to subtract six minus one five four minus one three like that. So first number what we have to follow one less than one before, and remaining numbers all from nine and the last number from ten we have to follow the rule. So how this rule applies? Let us see the examples. So first example is six hundred minus eighty seven. So one less than one before. So first number you subtract one number. So six minus one. Five all from nine, so nine minus eight, one. Last number from ten, ten minus seven, three. So the answer is five hundred and thirteen. See the next example: four hundred minus ninety-four. One less than one before, so four minus one, three. All from nine, so nine minus nine, zero. Now last number from ten, ten minus four, six. So the answer is three hundred and six. So without taking any borrows, we have done this subtraction easily. So some few more examples we shall see in this method now. 
See the next example. 5000 minus 234. So 1 less than 1 before. 5 minus 1. 4. All from 9. So 9 minus 2. 7. 9 minus 3. 6. Last from 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. See the next example. 8000 minus 687. 1 less than 1 before. That means 8 minus 1. 7. All from 9. 9 minus 6. 3. 9 minus 8. 1. Last from 10. So 10 minus 7. 3. 7313 is the answer. See the next example. 900 minus 87. So 1 less than 1 before. 9 minus 1 means 8. All from 9. Means 9 minus 8. 1. Last digit from 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. So the answer is 813. See the last example in this method. 500 minus 63. 1 less than 1 before. That means 5 minus 1. 4. All from 9. So 9 minus 6. 3. Last number from 10. So 10 minus 3. 7 is the answer. So 437 is the answer for this sum. Let us see the next method now. See the next method subtracting near a base. See this example 53 minus 29. 29 is nearer to 30. So 30 becomes base number for this. So 29 can be written as minus 30 plus 1. So write down 53 minus 30 plus 1. First you subtract 30 from 53. 53 minus 30, 23. Then add this one, 23 plus 1, 24 is the answer for this subtraction. See the next example, 45 minus 18. 18 is nearer to which base? 20. So it can be written as minus 20 plus 2. 45 minus 20 plus 2. First subtract 20 from 45. So answer is 25. Then add this 2. 25 plus 2 answer is 27. Now let us see 3 digit subtraction how. 697 minus 398. 398 is closer to which base? That is 400. So it can be written as minus 400 plus 2. 697 minus 400 plus 2. So 697 minus 400 means 297. Then add this 2. So 297 plus 2 means 299. Let us see the next method now. Now see the fourth method subtraction from left to right. So generally we subtract from right to left. For quick subtraction or addition we will do from left to right. So let us see the first example 725 minus 468. 468 can be written as five, minus 500 plus 32. So let us see the answer. 725 minus 500 plus 32. First subtract 500 from 725. So the answer is 225. Now add this 32. So the answer is 257. See the next example 321 minus 289. 289 can be written as minus 300 plus 11. So write down 321 minus 300 plus 11. So 321 minus 300 is 21. Now add this 11. So the answer is 32. 20 plus 10, 30. 1 plus 1, 2. So answer is 32. See the next example, 86 minus 25. 25 can be written as minus 30 plus 5. So 86 minus 30 plus 5. 86 minus 30, 56. Then add 5. So the answer is 61. 
left to right subtraction can be done in another way also. Let us see that also now. Here, 8 cannot be subtracted from 5 and 7 also, from 7 also we can't subtract 8. So what we have to do first means we have to take a borrow from the next, sorry previous number. So from 5, from this 5 I will take a borrow. So it becomes 15. From this 6 I will take a borrow. So this becomes 17. Now we can do our subtraction easily. 3 minus 1, 2. 1 we gave borrow. So 4 minus 1, 3. 15 minus 8. Next, 1 we gave borrow. So 5 minus 2, 3. 17 minus 8, 9. Now, see the next, next example, 444 minus 183. So here, 1 can be subtracted from 4 easily and 3 also can be subtracted from 4 easily. But, 8 cannot be subtracted from 4. So what we have to do is, we will take a borrow from the previous 4. So this 4 becomes 14. So, we gave a borrow here. So, here 3 only left over. So, 3 minus 1, 2. 14 minus 8, 6. 4 minus 3, 1 is the answer. See the next example. 8 cannot be subtracted from 3. So, we will take a borrow. It becomes 13 here. 5 left over. So, 5 minus 2, 3. 13 minus 8, 5 is the answer. So let us see the next method now. See now fifth method, number splitting method. In this method, we will split the number into two parts so that we can do the subtraction quickly. See the example first one, 5454 minus 1726. So this 17 can be written as minus 20 plus 3. So from 54, we subtract 20 first. So how much we will get? 34, 34 plus 3, we get the answer, 37. Next, this 26, how can we write 26? Minus 30 plus 4. So first you subtract 30, 54 minus 30, 24 plus 4, 28 is the answer. So total answer is 3728. See the next example, 3243 minus 1319. Here also we split the number into two parts. So how can you take 13 here? Minus 20 plus 7. So 32 minus 20, 12. 12 plus 7, 19. Next, 43 minus 19. So 19 can be taken as minus 20 plus 1. 43 minus 20, 23. Then add 1, 23 plus 1, 24. So let us see last method now. See the last method, how to subtract the numbers that are around 100. See the first example, 123 minus 75. So this is above 100 and 75 is below 100. So 123, how much it is above 100? 23. 75, how much it is below 100? 25 below. So, how we will calculate this? These two numbers when we add, this subtraction will be completed. So, add that 23 and this 25. So, 20 plus 20, 40. 3 plus 5, 8. So, the answer is 48. So, subtraction can be made simple by this way. See the next example, 132 minus 88. So, here... 132 is nearer to 100 and it is about 32. 88 is nearer to 100 only. So it is 12 below the 100. So what we have to do with this 32 and 12 when you add, this subtraction is completed. 30 plus 10, 40. 2 plus 2, 4. So answer is 44. See the last example in this method. 222 minus 170. These two numbers are nearer to 200. So 222, how much it is above 200? 22. 170, how much it is below 230? 
So add these two numbers 22 plus 30. So 20 plus 30, 50 plus 2. So answer is 52.